welcome back to my channel. You have Tasha Y. Miller here, and today we're going to be talking about kissing scenes. So today I hope to help you out and make it to where your kissing scenes, where your readers are reading your stuff and they're like, oh my goodness. Number one, figure out what type of kiss you're going to do. Now, there are so many different types of kissing. You can do a naughty kiss, you can do a nice kiss, or you can do a surprise kiss. Now, the surprise kiss is an oops, I fell on your lips. This is, oh, there's a mistletoe, so they kiss, or they're trying to deceive someone, so they kiss, or they're trying to make someone jealous, and they kiss. A naughty kiss, uh, like self-explanatory, you'd be very passionate, gonna bite his lip, gonna lick his lip. Um, and then you have a nice kiss where it's like, I've been waiting for this forever. I can't believe I'm going to kiss him. So that one, you don't get very passionate. You may not even use tongue. So figure out which type of kiss that you want your characters to do. Then number two, where are you going to have this kiss? Where your characters are when they kiss will change the kiss. If you're in front of your family under a mistletoe, I highly doubt you're going to get very passionate under that mistletoe while everyone's staring at you. But if you're by yourself and you are just ready for this kiss, things could get steamy. In The Smokiest Grave, their very first kiss, one of them was getting in trouble and the other one, to kind of get him out of trouble, just went in for the kiss. And while they were kissing, they were just like, whoa, why is there so many sparks? That one was more of a surprise kiss. They didn't plan it, and they weren't getting ready to take their clothes off, but there was definitely some sparks happening. Which goes to number three, try to build up before the actual action. So writing romance or just writing a subplot romance it, it works so much better if you build it up. If you guys just meet and all of a sudden you guys are kissing, it's not going to be very good. People are going to be like, okay, you know, they're just going for the physical attraction. Physical attraction is great. You should be attracted to your partner. You need to be able to make the sparks happen. And that only comes when you get to know someone. So try to build it up. Try to intensify it by always flirting or doing some witty romance. Mark. Because you want to make it as real as possible. You want to make it to where your readers can actually say, I wish that would happen to me and believe that it could happen. Number four, describing your body. So body is going to be doing so much. And depending on what type of kiss you're doing, if you're standing under that mistletoe, you're, you're probably going to be really stiff and be like, Okay, but if you're not and you're by yourself and you're into this kiss, your hands are going to be touching. You know, they can be on their body, grabbing their bottom, can be in their hair, can be just scratching the back. Hopefully not drawing blood, but you know, maybe a vampire romance. The hands, the legs, you can be lifting that leg up around his waist, you know, getting naughty. And your body is going to change. You're going to get goosebumps. You're you're going to get hot. You're going to feel the heat from him. You're going to feel the passion. You're going to feel the burning in your heart and your soul. You're going to feel the yearning in your body and between your legs. Number five, don't describe what the lips are actually doing. Now, we don't really care what the lips are doing because we know what a kiss is. We know that it's lips on lips. You don't have to describe it. You can say his lips devoured hers. That's all you really need. You don't need to go into greater detail. Their lip was here, his lip was here. We know where the lips are at. So instead of describing what your lips are doing, describe, which is number six, what your emotions are. So when you are kissing someone that you like and that this romance has built up, it's going to intensify so much emotions for you. Tell the reader what you're thinking. Don't think about other things when you're kissing. That's going to do something else to the reader. It's going to be like, well, she doesn't really want to kiss him. But maybe you knew at that moment that this is where you wanted to be for the rest of your life. This is who you wanted to be with for the rest of your life. If this kiss could last forever, you would be happy. So you don't want to do too much of those little fluffiness going on. You don't want to say all this 
craziness with with your kissing um because it's gonna get very cliche and very boring and some of the people start laughing like oh uh, this person no she didn't <laughs> I'll give you an example of one of my favorite authors, Janine Frost. So this is from her first novel, Halfway to the Grave. Kiss me, the words left me without any thought, and I realized I'd secretly wanted to say them for a while. Bones leaned over and his lips closed over mine softly, gently, giving me every opportunity to change my mind and push him away, but I didn't. I slid my arms around his neck and brought him closer. He ran his tongue along my lips until I opened my mouth. His touched mine for a moment before retreating teasingly back into his mouth. Another flickering touch and back again and again, coaxing me, persuading me. Finally, I traced my tongue into his mouth, feeling the answering rub. So there is a lot and it goes into some juicy, juicy sex scene, but that was kind of like the basic. How it started off is that and she thinks vampire's evil, he's a vampire, so she's just coming to terms with that vampires can be good. And, this, and very before this, before she says, kiss me, he says, look at me. You don't really look at me. You only see a vampire. Actually look at me. I am a man. Not just a vampire. So, um, yeah, it's one of my favorite and I absolutely love it. It is toe curling and awesome. It just want, it just makes you want more and more. And the description, I think it's absolutely amazing. I love Janine Frost. I think she is a wonderful writer. Just remember that there are so many different ways that, that kisses can happen. It can be spontaneous. It can be super sexy and like this one all drawn out the sexual tension is there but she doesn't know if if she hates them or likes them but as soon as their lips lock she realizes you know I like him however your story is gonna go just remember if you build it up then the tension is already gonna be there your readers are already gonna be so excited for this to happen so that's all I have for you today hopefully that was helpful that was my six steps on what I think makes a really good kissing scene go ahead and leave me a comment down below give me a thumbs up you can also tweet me at Tasha Y Miller okay thank you bye